I have a confession to make everyone and it has nothing to do with my boobs. I've already confessed about those in a previous video. What I need to confess to all of you is I loved spaghetti. My love for spaghetti back in the day is about the equivalent of my love for salmon today. Well, thanks to my food allergies and intolerances, spaghetti, pasta, orzo, whatever the hell you want to call it, is no longer on the menu. Womp womp. Now when I was first diagnosed with these issues, I was absolutely devastated. I had no freaking clue what to do. However, Mother Nature swooped right in there and was like, yo bro, I got you. I got you. And she presented me with a spaghetti squash. Yeah, okay, so I understand that they're not necessarily the exact same thing in that this is a vegetable, or I guess you could consider this a fruit because there are seeds inside, and spaghetti is a carbohydrate. I have to tell you that spaghetti squash is 20 times better and better for your health. I have also made a previous video about this bad boy. I have a link to that video in the description below. What I plan to make today with this spaghetti squash is something that you might find actually on top of your spaghetti. Meatballs. I love me some balls. I made balls last week and now I'm making savory balls this week. That being said, these meatballs are not your average meatballs, the ones that are filled with breadcrumbs and stuff like that. They're actually going to be spaghetti squash meatballs. Have no idea what I'm talking about? Well, you got to keep watching in order to see what I'm about to do. Was this what you were expecting when I said spaghetti squash meatballs? They smell so good. So as you guys may or may not know, I never make my recipes prior to making them on camera because I really like that organic reaction to what it tastes like. So I'm going to dig in here. And by the way, this is grass-fed, grass-finished ground beef. 85% lean and looks delicious. Look at the stringiness of the spaghetti squash within the meatball. That was like a premature mmm, cause I already knew it was gonna be really good because it smells so good. <laughs> Yum. I think the one thing that I could do in order to make this a tiny bit better is just add more salt to it because I am a salt girl, but if you don't like salt, then you're gonna be in love with this recipe, just like I was in love with regular spaghetti back in the day. Now, if you're a vegan, you're not gonna like this recipe so much, <laughs> but you probably do like spaghetti squash though, right? Let me know in the comments below. Look at it, it looks so great. Mmm, oh. The flavor profile is top notch. It's not overpowered by the tomato sauce. The olives give it a nice salty flavor. The spaghetti squash within the meatball gives a nice crunchy texture as does the riced sweet potato. I am in heaven over here. P.S. Do you love my plating? Because I put a little spinach flour around here so I can, you know, plate it pretty. <laughs> Hashtag fucking food blogger over here. Now before I dig into my next ball, because I'm pretty sure you guys have had enough of seeing me put balls in my mouth, I would love for you to leave me a comment below telling me your favorite meatball recipe and your favorite type of spaghetti, and if you do in fact like spaghetti squash. Also, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Like this video, and I'll see you next week.